Hi guys, Logan here with another video. Today I am showing you guys something from my personal um, haunt collection. Um, if you guys don't know, I do haunt acting and I like to wear masks. You can kind of see that by my mask wall. You see a lot of my hand painted masks, masks that I've used for characters, some old and retired ones like that original smiley mask right up there. But this is the newest addition to my collection. This is the Inferno Effects Stitches Mask in the um, Sal um, paint style. So it kind of looks like uh, Sally from the Nightmare Before Christmas. At least that's what it reminds me of. And I'm sure that's what um, they're aiming for. This was one of my trans world purchases and I actually just got it today uh, uh, they were um, basically making more masks and this is just one of them and so I ended up taking this home like from the show uh, it wasn't like cash and carry like a lot of these were I mean it was what it wasn't if that makes sense I was able to prepay for it and have it shipped but because it didn't stay towards the end of the show uh, I wasn't able to just take this off the rack and go. So, gosh, I, I don't even know where to begin. This, um, this is incredible. This is my first mask from um, Inferno. Um, I, I followed this company for a while. I originally discovered them through a really, really dope pawn actor by the name of Pongo Joe. He has this, like, goblin clown called Gobs. And it's one of their half masks, and I thought, holy shit, that looks so good. Uh, the sculpting was great. The paint job was phenomenal. Uh, and then a friend of mine has some of the, their masks as well. And I know he speaks super highly of this company. But while I was at Transworld, um, I got to see their masks in person. And gosh... I mean, <laughs> they're so cool. And I was eyeballing this uh, specific mask. I like how weird it is. Like, I think I think it's like the traditional stitches paint style. It looks like it's flesh, which is super dope. Don't get me wrong. I think all of the paint variants of this mask are awesome. But I liked how whimsical and dark this one is. And that's just, that's my style. You know, it's like some jacked up fairy tale character. Um, God, I mean, in love, in love with this mask. Uh, I like the muscle detailing, uh, like it's, it is like carved up face. I'm a sucker for clowns that are all carved up. Um, even like the mouth is all just carved up and like the teeth are all jagged and screwed up. This, it's like this guy took bits of flesh and just so, started sewing it on. It was like just bare skinned face. Like he skinned his face and he's like killing people and taking their skin and just, it's, it's like a trophy. I don't know. I don't know if that's what um, they're going for, but <laughs> that's how I interpreted it interpreted it that's how I saw it and that made it so much more dark and ominous and I was like haha I gotta get myself one of these but I was eyeballing this throughout the show and this was like 95 during the show I think it's like 120 now if you want to get professional stuff go to trans world everything's a little cheaper there um because do everyone does like special not everyone almost everyone does like special show prices and i knew 100 bucks for this i mean come on i could not pass that up um and i wanted to get it before someone else got it because you know <laughs> i mean look at the material guys um one of the most important things um to me while i was there and getting this mask was uh the owner I talked to the owner, I met the owner. He was such a, a delightful, just cool guy. Um, gave me 
an amazing first impression. Everyone that I bought from my trans world, I have some story about them. Or I have some, I have like some really, really just great first impression from them. And no different. The owner, fantastic guy, really cool, great sense of humor, you know, uh, I was like, I, I, I want to support this business even more, you know, just from how he interacted with me. I was like, I like this guy. I like this business. I want to support it. And now I want this mask even more. That's kind of an important thing. Uh, when, when you're running a business, uh, you gotta, you know, be really cool with your potential customers. And this guy was just awesome. I mean, fantastic. Um, all the masks look great every single mask looks up I, I could have bought all the masks had i wanted to uh i like their uh, chins mask that one was like hysterical um but you know i, I only have so much money <laughs> and I, I i'm working out uh, a, a second mask that's being uh, customized now uh because I, I like their masks and their quality so much now this is a half mask. I don't normally wear half masks. Um, a smiley, traditionally, is a half mask. But I've been trying to stray away from that. But this fits so well. It has um, straps. As you can see, straps on the back. Um, so it fits me pretty well. Now this is like, I don't know if it's like a, a latex or a silk. I don't know what material this is. It is thick guys look at that i mean that um reassures me that this is not gonna tear it fits super well it's really breathable it doesn't get really hot smiley gets really hot that's a mask i wear a lot and tragedy andy is uncomfortable because it's so heavy um but i i ordered a heavy mask i knew it was gonna be heavy uh but this mask is perfect it's lightweight it feels great it's very breathable the jaw is movable if you get it on just by if you line up your chin with the chin of the mask it moves pretty well um it'll take a little bit of adjusting this is my first time wearing a mask like this with a movable jaw so i had to adjust it and kind of figure it out uh it, it's very breathable that's an important thing for me is I need a mask that I can breathe in. I could breathe in this. I didn't feel like I was suffocating. I didn't feel like I'm claustrophobic. It fits my face perfectly. You know, um, Smiley's mask started not to fit me anymore. I think it's more of a kind of a teenager youth mask. This one's kind of one size fits most and it fits my fat face. So you know that's great. And you know it's going to fit my like chunky, weird face so plus for me I like how open the eye sockets are again I can see with Andy I can't see this I can see really well I can breathe I again I like the movable jaw that's really fun I can do some really fun things with that especially when I'm doing some um, haunt acting overall this is a mask that I am super happy with this is a company that I am super happy with I highly recommend them. You guys, just, you guys gotta check them out. Their masks are, um, they're. I mean, they're pricey. So no, I don't normally do professional stuff. This is like a, this is a pro mask. Their masks are pricey, but in my opinion, you're getting your money's worth. Like you're getting your bang for your buck with this. This is a. This is not in. OTR mask, which is off the rack. You can't go into a spirit store and get a mask of this quality. You know, it's fantastic quality. It feels really nice. It's again, it's not really heavy. It's not really uncomfortable. I don't feel like you, I didn't feel like it was gonna just snap and rip on my face. You know, uh, those are those are really important things to consider when you're wearing a mask, especially. You know, like this, I'm going to be wearing this for hours at a time. Um, it, it, it's perfect. Super comfortable. And I cannot express that enough. That's such an important thing. Especially for me. 
I don't I don't like being uncomfortable. It makes me panic. You know? I I feel like I could wear this for like ten hours and be okay. So I mean if I feel like I can wear this for ten hours, then you know that's really, really good. It's a really good mask. They do customization on their masks for really good prices. Um, I'm working on a custom. I so I'm working on a customized mask, and the price point on that perfect. And I'm, and I will review that as well when I get it because it's it's gonna be so cool, guys. Um, you guys just have to check out their masks. You ha you gotta order one. I mean, you you just you gotta order one. They they're so great. They're cool. They're awesome. They're scary. You know. I like how jacked up this mask looks. They have a lot of really kind of gruesome and jacked up looking characters. They have creepy characters. They have some like more humorous characters. They got, they got a little bit of everything, which I really like and I really appreciate. So, I mean, definitely go show this store or this company. I don't know why I said the store. Go show this company a lot of love. Um, you know, I... I am in love with this mask. It looks like it even has some UV portions. And <laughs> I do love, I do love using some UV reactive uh, stuff. So, um, a definite plus. But definitely recommend you go check them out. Uh, give them a follow on Instagram. Um, I don't know if they're on Facebook. They probably are on Facebook. Everyone's on Facebook. And give them a bunch of support. Get yourself a mask. Trust me. You will not regret it. These are so comfortable. And they feel so great. And they're hand painted. That's cool too. Not every mask is going to be the same. That's a pretty dope thing, right? I like that. I like getting handmade, like hand painted stuff or handmade stuff. That's a freaking dope. Like it means like your mask is one of a kind essentially. It's going to have these little like unique features that not every mask is going to have. That's pretty dope. So think about it like that, too. Again, you're getting your money's worth out of these masks. And I think these are, like, really well-priced, in my opinion. The detail is there. The quality is there. I mean, this is my second professional mask. Uh, I didn't basically sell my liver to get this. Uh, my other mask I have... I spent like a mortgage on damn near so when I said this is like a really really well priced mask yeah hop on it guys come on if you have an infernal effects mask definitely leave a comment down below which one you have and what did you think about it uh, how did you find infernal effects I feel like everyone's probably gonna have a little bit of a different story or the same story. Again, I found them through Pongo Joe. And yeah, you guys will definitely be seeing more of this character uh, soon. I'm going to have a costume custom made. I'm going to go all in with this character now. Um, because I love this mask so much. Uh, yeah, that's really all for me. If you have any questions about this mask, uh, or just Infernal Effects in general, leave a comment below. I can't speak today. Leave a comment down below and I'll answer you to the best of my ability. I don't work for them, so I probably can't answer every single last question. But, um, I can answer some. And, yeah. Hope you all have a great day. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.